What is up guys, Bubba Skrick here at Think Computers. I'm gonna be showing you the BIOS here on the EVGA Z390 FTW motherboard. As I always say, this BIOS should be pretty much the same across the entire EVGA Z390 line. So to start things off, we have this pretty cool looking screen here that is the start screen. So if you know you hit that delete button and go into the BIOS, this is the first thing that you're gonna see. So we have advanced configuration, default mode, which will run your system with all of the defaults set. You have a gamer mode, which is gonna set an overclock based on your system, um, based on what processor you have and all that. So you click it and it says, do you want to save CPU of 4,900 megahertz profile and reset? So if you were just looking for a very quick, easy overclock, you can just go ahead and hit this. No problem right there. And then you have the EVGA OC robot. This is something that's new that EVGA has added. If you go ahead and click it, it's going to sort of run like a stress tester, like a tuning um, configuration, you know, going over different uh, frequencies and voltages and you know, what's this CPU temperature gonna be? And it's gonna tune your system um, completely. And we've never seen something like this built into a BIOS, really. And it's actually super cool. Um, one, that it shows you what it's doing as it's going along. And two, it makes it easy to overclock if you, you know, don't know what certain settings to set or anything like that. You could, you know, hit this and it's all based on your hardware. So of course, if you have better cooling, you're gonna get a better overclock with the OC robot. So um, definitely something cool and it's awesome that it's already built in the BIOS. So before you even load Windows, you can go ahead and uh, set that all up for yourself. So we're gonna go into the advanced configuration here. And when you're dropped in, you're dropped into the OC tab. Um, but before I talk about that, let's see what we have going on up here. Of course, we have our CPU temperature in real time. We have our memory up here and you can see we have four eight gig sticks installed. So total of 32 gigabytes. We can see the frequency that memory is running at and our voltage of that memory here. Going over to the middle here, we have our CPU clock speed. How many cores? We have eight cores in our processor and hyper threading is turned on. Then over here is all of your graphics cards. So we have one graphics card installed. It's running at X16 speeds and of course it's PCI Express 3.0. And then we have our V core here for our CPU in real time. Now moving back down to the OC tab, of course this is everything that you want to overclock your processor. Um, we have it on auto mode, but we can of course switch that to manual. And of course that will bring up all of our cores and, and all of that. Um, that you want here. Now, um, it does set, see your target. So if I change this, you know, uh, the multipl multiplier setting to say 45, you'll see that my ratio or my target frequency changes. The reason uh, I like to see that is because you're not sure with, you know, you're setting different settings. You want to know what you're shooting for. So it's nice that it is right there. And of course, you have all of your voltage settings down here as well. And one thing that's nice about this BIOS is over here, every time I go to a different setting, it of course shows me what it is over here and gives me, you know, normal voltage ranges and things like that. So it's just good to have. Um, if you're not really sure what you're doing, you have this little help screen over here. Now moving over to memory, of course, this is where you're gonna set your XMP profile. If your uh, memory supports it, which it should, you can go ahead and load your XMP profile, no problem. But if you were doing overclocking, of course, you can change your timings and your voltage as well as your frequency all within this screen um, and you can go pretty in depth on that. Under advanced, this is everything else basically that's on the board. So CPU configuration, this is you know to do with your CPU. So you can turn you know Turbo Boost on and off. You can turn C states on and off, hyper threading on and off, all that kind of stuff you can do. And if you click on CPU information, this is going to give us all of all of the information on the CPU that we have installed. Go back here, PCI Express. Of course, this is everything to do with our uh, PCI Express uh, slots. And you can see we have one card installed, of course, running at X16 speeds. PCH, uh, just information on the PCH. Power management, of course, you can turn sleep modes on and off and that kind of stuff. Onboard devices configuration. This is your LAN and your audio and your M.2 slots, which you can enable or disable all of those. USB configuration, same thing. Um, you can enable USB uh, legacy USB supports, um, but then you can also you know, enable or disable all of the USB ports on the motherboard, including the headers. 
SATA configuration, um, same thing. You can enable or disable and it will show you, you know, what drives you have installed here. Hardware monitor configuration will give you your temperatures in real time as well as your voltages. And then you can set like your, uh, you know, your different fan speeds and stuff. Like if you wanted to, to change these from smart to something else, if you click in, you know, you can set your default fan speeds and all that kind of stuff and like your temperature value and then what the uh, correlating fan speed should be as it goes up. So pretty cool that you can, you know, you kind of dive down more deep on your fan settings. It's pretty cool that you can go ahead and do that. And then uh, trusted computing, that's just TPM stuff and NVMe information page. So if you have an NVMe drive installed, it's going to go ahead and show here. So we have that SanDisk Extreme Pro one terabyte NVMe drive right there. And then under boots, you know, you can set up, you know, like there's a speaker on this. If you don't want it to beep when you turn it on, you can turn that on or off. Fast boot, skip home, um, your uh, boot order priorities and all that kind of stuff. And then you do have security down here. So you can set administrators passwords and, and things like that if you really want to protect your system and all of that. Oops. And then finally we have save and exit. Of course, you know, save changes, discard changes, restore defaults, which I like to see, and load last save settings. So say you did something and you, you want to go back to the last save, you can go ahead and do that. You can also save profiles and load profiles. And then one thing that I always talk about that I like to see is this boot override. So this is great if you're installing Windows, um, you know, you boot to your flash drive once, but you select it in here. And then when it restarts, you don't have to worry about, you know, running to your system and pulling out that flash drive. It's just going to boot to the hard drive next time. So it's super easy. And I really like that we have that here. And another thing that I like is if we were going to go ahead and save, like I'll hit F10 to save. And it's going to show us all of our changes. Obviously, we didn't make any changes. But if we had any changes, they'd be listed here. So I can see everything that I've done um, before I save, which is good. I just really like that. Um, you know, it just gives you a checklist to see, okay, I did this, I did this, I did this, um, and all of that. So it's kind of nice right there. Um, and then there are some extras. So you see this little extras tab right here. We have our stress test, and this is something new to, just like the OC robot, this is something that's new in this BIOS. And we go ahead, and it's just gonna run a stress test on the system. And again, we have that nice interface that shows you our CPU frequency, our voltage, and our temperature, and you can just run this and you know see how your CPU performs and see how your cooling performs on your system. So go ahead and close that out. And um, we also, of course, have the OC robot again, which is a way to easily overclock your system. And then finally, we have a BIOS update. So if I had a flash drive installed and I hit, you know, hit this BIOS update, it will read the flash drive and ask me if I want to, you know, update my BIOS. So it's super easy to do that as well. Now, I really like this BIOS. Um, I'm a huge fan of the OC robot and the stress test. It's just nice to have that stuff within the BIOS. Um, so you don't have to go into Windows to, you know, check all that kind of stuff. Um, but one thing, you know, that main screen that we were on, if, you know, if we would go back to the beginning, the main screen uh, that's you know, that has those four options, there's like no way to, you know, maybe set my boot uh, device priorities or my XMP profile. And that's usually the two things that you're going to do first when you boot up your system for the first time. So if those were on that main screen, it would make it even better. But again, a good BIOS overall, very easy to use. It's not sluggish or anything like that. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. So until next time, catch you guys later.